to me who God says he is. That's my confession. I declare that he is. He is my advocate. I'm not going to confess weakness. I'm not going to say, oh, God, strengthen me. No, no, no. He is my strengthener. When he sent the Holy Spirit to live in me, the strengthener came inside me. I am strengthened of the Holy Ghost. I am strengthened of the Holy Ghost. Instead of saying, strengthen me, Lord, I confess that I am strengthened. The Holy Ghost is my strengthener. Oh, oh, oh. Are you getting it now? There's a difference between Old Testament prayer and New Testament prayer. Old Testament is, oh God, give me strength. Whatever you ask him. Did you know a lot of the teachings of Jesus in the Gospels were taught to Old Testament people? Jesus lived in the Old Testament. Don't forget it. The New Testament could only begin after the death of Jesus. Because the testament had to be certified by his death. A will, when you make a will, your will is, is of no power until the death is certified. That's what the Bible says. A man's will has no power until he's certified dead. Jesus Christ came to certify the new will, but it could not be certified until his death. And the Bible says by his death, he brought forth the new will. Oh, come on now. Are you still there? Yeah. Number four. I am what the word says I am. Man, oh my. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. It says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. So I am a new creation because I'm in Christ Jesus. I am a new creation. I am a new creation. I am. I declare that I am a new creation. Glory to God. Look at verse 21. Verse 21. For he had made him, God had made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin. Christ Jesus knew no sin. And he was made to be sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Oh, so did he do it? He sure did. That means by what he did in Christ Jesus for us, we became the righteousness of God in him. So I am the righteousness of God in Christ. The Christian life is grace upon grace. Grace upon grace. Grace upon grace. Heaps of grace. That's what the Bible says. Shouting grace, grace unto it. Oh. Wow. Then it says it's from glory to glory. Then it says it's from faith to faith. Faith to faith. It's amazing. It starts out by faith and continues by faith and in faith and in faith and in faith, producing more faith. What a life. No, if, you, if you are experiencing weakness and doubting and all of that, that's not the Christian life. You are, you are a Christian living a non-Christian life. And you have to stop. Don't start praying about it. Oh, God, I want to now live a Christian. Ah, oh, just start living it. <laughs> just do it. The word of God is for doing. Amen. I am what God says I am. I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I'm a new creation. That's my confession. I declare. I affirm. I confess that I am a new creation. I confess that I am the righteousness of God in Christ. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. Look at that. You'd love it. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. For we are his workmanship recreated. Old King James says created. The margin says recreated in Christ Jesus on the good works which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. What is, what, what's our confession? We are the workmanship of God in Christ Jesus. I am the workmanship of God. I declare, I affirm, I confess that I am the workmanship of God in Christ Jesus. Produced by God. How could I be a failure? I'm produced by God. How could I be a failure? I'm produced by God. I am the workmanship of God in Christ Jesus. I'm a winner every day. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Oh, I'm a man of substance. 
because I'm the workmanship of God in Christ Jesus. I am excellent because I am the workmanship of God in Christ Jesus. Ma, 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 ma. Romans chapter 8, verse 16. My, I am what God says I am. The Spirit, old King James says itself, and I don't read himself, bear it witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. So I'm a child of God. Can you shout amen, somebody? It's not over yet. Verse 17. And if children, if we are children, then heirs, heirs of God. I'm an heir of God. I confess and I declare and I affirm that I'm an heir of God. Shout amen. amen. It's not over. Then it says joint heirs. Oh my, 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 my. Woo! Did you notice he didn't say co-heirs? He uses the term joint heirs. Oh, not co-heirs. Ah, 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 ah. Have you ever had a joint account with somebody? Can I tell you the implication of a joint account? If he has said co-heirs, that would mean that we are sharers and uh, somebody's got 5%, somebody's got uh, 20%, another person's got 1%, another one has 80%, whatever. But when he says joint heirs, it means together we own the 100% together. that he has to that heritage I have as well so when we were made joint heirs with Jesus it meant everything that belongs to Jesus belongs to me how could I be poor then how could I be poor then the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof the world and all that be in it shout amen somebody see something now amplified version I'm gonna help you your words have been strong and hard against me God is saying this he says your words have been strong and hard against me says the Lord yet you say what have we spoken against you see people have spoken hard words against God see they take sides against God by saying the wrong thing against God don't say the wrong thing don't take sides against God if God says you have something don't say I don't Oh, I, 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 I received my healing, but the pain is still there. You have repudiated your healing. All things are yours. And you say, well, you know, I'm broke. You have repudiated your wealth. Listen, listen. These are spiritual laws. If you're new to this kind of a thing, you say, I wonder, uh, well, what is Pastor Chris really saying? Is this true? Listen, uh, these things are not made up. No, 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 no. I'm showing you scriptures. There are in-depth revelations and details in the word you can take it anywhere that's no, no scholar what he sought will read the bible and tell you that these things i've shared, shared with you are not true no 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 he will say they're not true until he reads them 
When he sees them, it will change his life. Doesn't matter what background he's from. There have been some who, who, who said, oh, no, no, that's, they went to study for themselves and they came out with something and said, my goodness, why did it take me so long to discover this? Because they were following religion for so long. They never studied the word for themselves. They, de they, they depended on what religion told them. They say, now my faith looks up to thee, thou lamb of Calvary. He left Calvary a long time ago. <laughs> Thou Lamb of Calvary, save your device. Now hear me while I pray. Take off my gift away. Oh, let me from this day. Oh, let me from this day be holy thine. Let me from this day be holy thine. The next week, they'll sing it again in church. My faith looks up. Every, let me from this day be holy thine. You see, songs that have robbed them of their abilities and potentials and effectiveness. You want to be an effective, efficient Christian? Study the word for yourself. Glory to God. We trust you were.